Well, the Middle East is in turmoil, and the country of Jordan is one of the most strategic nations in the Middle East. It could be the next target for ISIS. It's also in a key location to help protect Israel. As Chris Mitchell explains, it is critical for the United States to support this faithful ally. In January 2015, ISIS shocked the world by burning a captured Jordanian pilot alive. The act also put the Islamic State and Jordan on a collision course. King Abdullah and his country are a critical ally against ISIS and a strategic asset to Israel. Here's why. Jordan sits on Israel's eastern border. As we look at the Jordan Valley, you can see that it forms a natural geographic and strategic barrier on Israel's eastern front. It's one reason why Jordan plays such a crucial role in today's Middle East. Many Americans, many Westerners don't even think about Jordan as an important country, right? But, but Jordan is, the, is the, the, the eastern cornerstone of the security architecture that keeps Israel safe and is the buffer the frontline buffer against the wave of Islamic Jihad that is coming towards the West. Best-selling author Joe Rosenberg wrote about Jordan in his latest series. He also enjoyed what a central character in his novels got to do, meet King Abdullah of Jordan. What happened was uh, the King Abdullah, uh, the King of Jordan, um, read one of my novels. It happened to be the first hostage. He read it in January. A friend of his had read it and gave it to him. And uh, he enjoyed it and invited me and my wife to come and visit him. Rosenberg also included the king in his latest two books. From their time together, Rosenberg discovered the enormous pressures facing King Abdullah and his kingdom. He wrote about those challenges recently in the Jerusalem Post. The moment is incredibly dangerous, meaning he's got 30% of his population aren't Jordanian citizens. They're Syrians, they're Iraqi refugees, and nobody exactly knows who each person is. What percentage of them are loyal to ISIS? How many of them are members of ISIS sleeper cells? Nobody knows. It's a concern shared by Israeli Deputy Chief of Staff, General Yair Golan. Jordan is terrifying by the presence of the Islamic State in Jordan cities and towns. While Golan is optimistic about Jordan's stability, he agrees with Rosenberg that ISIS could turn its sights there. We know that ISIS is trying to bring down the government of Iraq. We know that ISIS is trying to bring down the government of Syria. The question is, where do they go next? Now, I'm not saying that definitively Jordan uh, will be the next place that they try to overthrow, but it makes sense. Jordan's King Abdullah appears qualified and ready for any threat from ISIS. Trained as a commando, he serves as general commander of Jordanian special forces. The king made headlines around the world when he personally led a strike against the Islamic State after ISIS killed the Jordanian pilot. The king understands instinctively how to fight terror and how to train his military to deal with, and, and his security forces to deal with this threat. But will that be enough? That's the question. The Syrian refugee situation is also a burden. Since the Syrian civil war began, Jordan's population has exploded 30 percent. 30 percent more? That's 60 million people. Imagine the American people, American government having to take care of the food, clothing, shelter, education, health care for 60 million non-citizens. That's what Jordan is essentially uh, facing. Rosenberg believes the U.S. can do more to stand with this strategic Arab ally. We learned that Jordan only has eight working Black Hawk helicopters. And we were told that 12 are needed to effectively run the type of cross-border, anti-terror, anti-ISIS raids into Syria, into Iraq that are needed. Now, the United States has promised to give eight more Black Hawks at the end of 2017. But I have to ask, why are we waiting? If Jordan's king is willing to be in the fight, is in the fight against ISIS, why don't we give him these helicopters now? He also believes King Abdullah fits the kind of Muslim leader the West needs now. He is a moderate. He believes in Jews, Christians, and Muslims working together. Uh, he's actively in a hot war, uh, fighting against 
Islamic extremism and radicalism, apocalyptic Islam. Here's a guy who is our ally and wants to help and is helping. This is, this is what we want, right? We often, we hear people say, well, how come we don't hear Muslims standing up against these radicals, standing up against these jihadists? How come they're not doing anything? He is. King Abdullah is. We need to help him lest, uh, you know, we wake up one day and find that we didn't do enough and he and his government are gone. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, the Jordan Valley.